So I started with um, 45,000 pesos for a starting. Wow, 45,000 <laughs> starting. Yeah. yeah, it's a starting. He's actually going to teach me. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, hello everyone. Welcome for another um, episode of this uh, ASVA Success Interviews. And today, we are very lucky to have been graced by the presence of our newest brand ambassador, Ninya. Hello, Ninya! Hello! And, and very special din ang episode na to because if you've noticed before, kung nanonood na kayo ng mga ASVA interviews, we mostly feature yung mga recent wins. Like, once na matapos sila yung course and once makakuha sila ng new client, pinipicture natin yung story nila dito. But now, it's something different because we're gonna uh, interview someone who's been doing this uh, career for more than a year na. Kung baga, parang life update. Like, how's uh, her life have been um, after being an Amazon BA for more than a year. So, alam ko, excited na kayo. Ako rin, excited na rin ako kung, ano, kung paano ba yung naging progress and growth niya sa path na to. So, without further ado, I'd like you to, in, I'd like you to meet uh, Jonaline. So, hi, Jonaline! Hi! <laughs> Ayan. So, thank you thank for you inviting so me! <laughs> yes, thank you then. Thank you then for uh, saying yes to this mm-hmm. interview. So, uh, for the sake of our audience na hindi ka pa kilala. So, sino si Jonaline? <laughs> Yeah, um, actually, it's, um, I might have to cry later. <laughs> Sorry, <Wow>. fans. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so first, um, I actually, um, a, I mean, I'm an online English teacher before ASVA. So I have been working as an on- online English teacher for five years. So my um, um, students were Japanese. So... Yeah, and that's the first, I mean, before ASVA. And um, actually, there is something that happened to me. That's why I um, started this career. And okay. yeah, um, I hope actually this will um, inspire other. I'm actually crying already, you guys. <laughs> it's okay, sis. <laughs> yeah, um, actually, I had... Um, it's hard to say this. Actually, um, I had a depression before ASVA. And I would say maybe um, COVID is a big part of it because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so um, while I was working in my online English teacher, um, to be honest, I'm not good at English, actually. <laughs> um, I just work there for money. That's like most people of us actually do. So even though we didn't love the job, we still have to keep doing it. Because um, that's the only thing that pays, pays our bills. So that's what happened to me. Um, I love talking to students, um, learning their lifestyles, learning their um, culture. But when it comes to technical English stuff, oh my gosh, that's really a struggle to me because um, to be brutally honest, I had nothing to teach with them about English stuff because I am not, um, I was not majoring English when I was in college. I was an accounting student. So it was okay. really totally like ano ba, a different way, yes, yes. right? Mm-hmm. So like accounting and then uh, nag, nag online teaching. So that's what happened to me. And the thing is, I love to work in accounting world. I mean, I love to do business things. I love to engage like business people. So that's what happened to me. And ano, uh, ang nangyari kasi, yung mga friends ko is, um, yung friends ko nung college is nagaano na sila. Some of them are promoted and um, mm. y- yung, yung ganun ba? Tapos, I compared myself to them like, bakit dito lang ako? Like, I'm so stagnant. Like, I wanted to have that kind of life but I cannot kasi um, I had to start from scratch. So that what, uh, that's what happened to me. I had really bad depression. I cannot sleep at night. 
and um, I don't have appetite and I really lose tons of weight. So from 45 kilograms, when um, COVID happens, I became 36 kilograms. So it's really bad. Oh my God, 36 yeah. kilograms. Yeah, I was 36 kilograms. It's, it was really bad thing. Like depression is really a bad thing. Like mm-hmm. you're just have to, like I was crying every now and then. And then I isolated myself. I did not want to go out. I did not want to see friends and I'm very insecure of myself because I compared myself to others. You know yung nangyari. And then um there was one day um I had really enough of it. Um I told myself this is enough. Kawawa, kawawa na ako. Like um when I'm facing the mirror like who is this woman? It's like different person. I was so skinny and like I couldn't I I mean I I don't know who she is in the mirror already. So I told myself, like, it's time for me to choose myself. So I went to gym. I guess I, I actually uh, mentioned this in our community. Yes, yeah. yes. I, I went to gym. Uh, I started to go to gym because I want to gain weight back. And upon going to gym, I met someone who is doing a freelancing. And then, um, ito ha, it's, it's very... Um, Ano, ang nagugusbang nga ako eh. Ano mo incident eh, no? <laughs> yeah, kasi uh, ang nangyari kasi before is um, whenever I go to church, I complain a lot. I curse God kasi, kasi I blame Him what happened to me. Yung nag-depression ako, I blame Him. Like, um, you know what? Um, I ask Him 30,000 pesos like salary only. Like, Lord, why can't you give me this 30,000 pesos? It's just only that. Like, I told him, like, if you're really God, like, why can't you give this to me? And Like, you have everything, right? You're God, I believe in you. Like, I'm cursing him whenever I go to uh, to, to, um, to church already. But you know what? He is really listening. And he's doing those things because he wanted you to have something bigger. Like... Yeah. Yun lang bang hinihingi mo? I have something for you bigger, bigger than that, like that. So um, when I started choosing myself, I went to the gym, and then there was someone I met um doing a freelancing, and then I usually don't talk to strangers because I feel so awkward. I mean, I'm not good at talking to strangers the first time. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what happened. So, but that time I was talking to her like really, and when. We had a conversation. We came up with the work conversation. And then um, I was sharing her my job. And then I asked her back about her job. And she said, like, I'm um, a virtual assistant. And he is, she's doing a property steps, like property, property oh. virtual assistants. Mm-hmm. And then um, it's just an eye-opening for me. It's like, okay. And then I was asking, um, is it okay ba na magtanong sa salary mo? And then she was so open. And then she said like, oh yeah, I can I can tell you. And then she said like, it was 56,000 pesos. Per month. Yeah. Wow. You monthly. You monthly, yeah. sorry. Um, that's, that's what her salary was. And it gives me hope actually after that. Like yes. um, after the encounter, I told myself like, wow, it's really a huge salary. And I told her, like, if she can make it, I can make it. <laughs> so um, I went on, I went back home, and then I researched about Amazon, uh, I mean, about um, freelancing, like virtual assistant stuff. Yun nga, nakita ko yung copywriting, yung property, yung sinadi ko silang lahat. Yun. And then um, I went on other virtual stuffs until I found the virtual, I mean, Asva, sa online. At first, I thought, ah, ba- baka scam to. So, I'll just, I mean, hindi ko siya, ano, hindi ko siya pinik, seriously. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tapos, pumunta ako sa YouTube, nakita kita. Tapos, ang, oh. nakita ko lahat ng success story. Nakita ko si Soraya. Soraya ba yun? Yes, yeah, so, Coach Faraya is an art of the videos mo about Asma success stories, tinignan ko na lahat. <laughs> na wow. Thank so, you, Jodalyn. Isa ka pala sa mga nagpataas ng uh, view, <laughs> ng watch hours ko. Isa ka mga number of views ko. Thank yeah, you, thank na-addict, you. Na-addict. <laughs> Wait, so, um, 
Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt uh-huh. you, pero uh, I just wanted to um, take a few steps back for for our listeners. And first, uh, I want to thank you for showing your vulnerability. I know that's something, you know, uh, dealing with yeah. depression. Uh, I know people um, who are also close to me who is mm-hmm. also dealing with those. And it's not easy. And kahit sila na prostrate because they don't also understand how they're yeah. feeling. And they can't really control it. So, I'm happy for you because and but my the, the people that I know they're already seeking ano, um, professional help which is uh, good for them and it's also good on your part na para nang snap out of it ka sa, sa sarili mong isip no because sometimes it really pag nag-start ka na talagang mag um, zone in doon sa insecurities and then when you start comparing yourself na you're feeling left behind na parang why is everyone else winning in life Except for me, diba? Parang yeah. I'm a good person naman. Hindi naman ako masamang tao and stuff like that. I know, I, I could relate oh, to, to uh-huh. that part. And when you start focusing on those things, it, it's easy to get lost in a rabbit. Hole, yeah. Diba? And that's why I'm also happy na, I don't know, something, probably something clicked in you. Kaya bigla kang uh, nagising and you just told yourself na you're gonna start choosing yourself. And... I'm just curious, uh, Jodalyn, because you mentioned that you're, you've started doing this research and stuff. So while doing all of this, you work up as an ESL tutor while, I mean, uh, doing all this stuff. Yeah, um, the thing is, um, I had a very good company as well before. Because we were absent from the time. <laughs> Oh, so you know, okay. you flexible. Oh, flexible. Para din siyang freelancing type, but a company like that. So um in my case, so I had to work kasi may two types kami eh. So I have we have the home based and we have like from office. But during a okay. uh, pandemic, both of them are working from home like that. So what I just did is I was working on the office based side which is like freelancing as well and then um while studying uh i had spent really long hours while studying like here so that's why i also had to work for me to pay for my bills and also to like study this one i see okay so what made you finally decide to join the Aspa Master Plus because at first you mentioned the uh, Kalamo scam and <laughs> all of that. So, what finally uh, made you change your mind? Um, actually, it's because I can see a lot of success stories, but more than that is, you know, you can feel the anuba intuition. Like mm-hmm. I have this intuition that I can make it. Like this is oh. the thing for me. Like that. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I went actually on um yeah, yeah. I went on just to make this, I mean just to enroll this course. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I guess I don't know, para na feel mo na dinadala ka talaga doon sa, sa path. Yeah. I guess it's true. Ikaw ba, Nina, when you saw the opportunity, did you have the same um attraction or inclination? towards this uh, career. Hmm. Na-feel mo rin ba yun? <laughs> yes. When I saw mga success stories, mga testimonies sa YouTube, sa TikTok, I felt na parang, parang I'm secured because it happened eh. It happened to other people. When you see the results of other people, it's not impossible that it could happen to you as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, nag-deep like, dive talaga ako from it. <laughs> nice. Thank yeah. you. Very well said. Kaya, malaki talaga yung impact na nadudulot ng pag-share ng story. And with you, Jonaline, thank you for yeah, yeah. sharing that. It's actually the first time someone, you know, uh, I mean, someone from our community openly admitted na you've, you've, under, uh, you've undergone that kind of uh, experience. And I hope this would serve, you know, as an inspiration and motivation um, to those who are also undergoing the same thing. Na there's hope. Diba? Yeah. There's hope. If you There's found hope something always. that passionate ka, diba? And, yeah. ayan, nag-enroll ka na. So, what happened? Um, kamusta yung naging experience mo with the masterclass, with the modules and the community? Because it's your, ano eh, um, it's your first time to do this kind of yeah. uh, thing, diba? Mm-hmm. But, um, actually, going back to that, um, 
to actually share this, I did not have the money to enroll. Like zero. Mm. I had no savings. I had no money at all. But um, as I mentioned, it's nakita ko yung hope dito eh. Like um, I told myself, no, I cannot find other one. This like this is the right for me. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what happened is like I said um I'm I'm not too proud of this one, but. I made this one and it's not the thing that I'm going to advise people, but I, I did it. It's the thing that I lived before. Um, I went on to borrow my friend's money. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I, I sent a message to a lot of my friends and like a lot of them, of, of course, I understand because it's a huge amount. I mean, it's, it's not like the thing that they can um, earn in a day. The, the kind true, of true. Money. So I understand that they will, um, refuse I understand but so I prayed to God like Lord if this is really meant for me um magpapadala ka talaga ng tao na uh either I can borrow money or they can like give me this one like it, it's it's a miracle like miracle happens every day and then um there was, I mean, I sent a message to my best friend's girlfriend, and then she said, like, Joe, it's okay, like that. And then I borrowed money from her. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. I don't yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then when I went to ASBA, like, uh, yun na, na, naka-enroll na ako. And then um, at first, it was overwhelming because stepping out of your comfort zone is totally a very scary thing like I was having depression and stress every now and then because I had the money that I lent from my best friend's girlfriend which is a very close friend to me right now and um also I don't know if I can find a client mm-hmm. here so like um I had um but in my case um I told myself like I'm already here there's no point of mm-hmm. turning back so I had to study more and move forward, not book, move backward. So yeah, True. that's what happened to me. I like that kind of mindset. Kung baga, ipinangutang mo na nga. Eh. Although yeah, yeah, we don't advise people to do that. I mean, yeah. nilunok, I mean nilunok mo na nga yung pride mo. Pride mo. <laughs> tulong sa ibang tao. Tapos ngayon ka pa pa magda-doubt sa sarili mo now yeah. that you've already invested the money in the, in the course. So how long? Because usually... Um, people can, students can finish the course in eight weeks. So in your case, sabi mo, medyo na overwhelm ka and then um, probably you, you may have paused or took some breaks in between. How long did it take you to finish the entire module? Um, it's so funny kasi um, when I enrolled, they give us the access to Thinkific. Thinkific that time. Mm-hmm. So yeah. um, I, I heard different right now. Like different. Yeah. Uh, in my time, they give Thinkific access. Upon receiving the Thinkific, pinanood ko na lahat. Like, um, I was elite class with, Uh-oh. um, my coach was Coach Liv. Mm-hmm. So, uh, on the time that we are like coaching classes, I have already finished all of the study materials. <laughs> Really? Like, uh, how, how long? How long were you able to watch uh, um, I videos? guess yung, ano, yung, uh, nag-enroll ako 12. And mm-hmm. then, yung starting ng coaching namin ni Coach Leaf is around by the end of March. By the end of March? Yeah. So, tapos na ako mm-hmm. sa lahat ng videos. Pero di ko ba rin gagawa yung ano, mga assignments. Videos lang oh. <laughs> Yeah. So almost two weeks. More or less two weeks mo lang uh, yeah. nasadahan yung mga modules. Oh, oh, na ito 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 ito. Ito. <laughs> okay, okay. Ito okay. Ito talaga sa lang lahat. Kailig yeah. talagang ano ah, kapag motivated ka talaga eh, yeah. no? Uh, sometimes you do the impossible thing. So yeah. after... <laughs> After finishing the modules and after finishing the, the coaching calls with Coach Leaf, um, when did you start sending applications to clients? Um, to be honest, before the coaching, I already sent an application. Talaga ba? Ino na ako yeah. na ako ka-excited. Um, hmm. Actually, na ano pa, nadamay pa dito si, ano, si Coach Charlie. Kasi um, hindi ko pa alam kung sino yung coach ko eh. 
So okay. when I have a question, like uh, some of the clients will reply to my proposal. Um, they have some questions. So si Coach Charlie, hoy Coach, ano ba to? Kasi nakita ko siya sa ano, <laughs> sa aso ba? Um, I mean, sa na-feature mo sa ano vlog. So si Coach, <laughs> yung tinanong ko, siya kasi yung nakita ko sa vlog. Hoy Coach, baka alam, uh, alam mo naman to. <laughs> Yun yung ginawa ko. <laughs> Grabe ka, sis. I mean, two weeks, tinapos mo yung modules, pero nagsisend ka, wala ka pang coaching, nagsisend ka na ng application. Wow. I mean, I'm... I've uh, met a lot of, you know, I've interviewed students na talagang sigurista sila. Hindi lang minsan isang pasada yung modules, like twice pa, up until, you know, they they really took their time. Like, yung iba, 12 months. <laughs> yung pinakamatagal atas, 9 to 12 months. Yung iba, 6 months. But in your case, two weeks, tapos nagpapasa ka na. So, what happened uh, with those applications that you sent during that time? Kasi considering na, Ano pa lang eh, one time mo pa lang siyang inaral eh. I mean, were you able to get a client with uh, with that strategy? Um, actually, nakakatawa kasi lahat ng online platforms pinasok ko na. Like, online okay. job, PH, Indeed. Um, there were tons of, like, pinasok ganun ako ka-determine na makakuha ng client. So, I would say, like, uh, my application is more than 1,500, more than 2,000, or more than that. Like, really? ang dami kong pinasa na, um, ano, na application. Pero, um, when I had an interview with, like, a potential client, like, I would say, like, 20, 30 interviews I had. Mm-hmm. You cannot imagine the, ano, the failure I did. But whenever I encountered, ano, um, failure, like, rejections mm-hmm. from them, I will make it as a strength. Like, um, whenever they say, like, um, sorry, we we need like experience one. I would actually um throw them with like kindness. I would always say like, um, it's okay. I'm very much thankful because you gave me this chance to have an interview with you like that. And the strategy I made is whenever I don't know the question, I mean, I don't know what the question was. And idea. Like it's my first time, right? To have this like um career i actually write it down so i write it down and after that i went to tons of sites like reading blogs i watch youtube channels about this specific things like just to make me learn those stuff mm-hmm. like how, about, uh, uh, how would you audit a ppc yeah like i thought what Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so during the, the interview, how would you answer that? Would you tell them that um you don't know about it or you'll you're gonna research about it? Like how would you how do, would you handle that kind of question? Kapag hindi ka aware. Yeah. Or hindi mo alam answer. If the thing about that is you have to be honest. Kasi mm. I don't believe in fake it until to make it. Because mag struggle ka talaga. I'm, I will tell them honestly that I'm sorry. It's um I'm a first timer, so I have just encountered this career. I mean, it's my first time to have this kind of interview. It's my first time about PPC, like like those tabs, mm-hmm. if you have those kind of um interviews. I'm just honest to them. Mm-hmm. And actually, it also saves you it. It yeah. saves you the pressure and the stress then because. If ever you got accepted then naman, they have this high expectation of you. And if you don't deliver, right. I- ikaw din yung magsasuffer. I-, uh, I would always believe na, I always believe that it's okay to under-promise, but yeah. over-deliver. Okay, sa yung marami ka uh, na over-promise sa interview, tapos yeah. under-deliver ka sa missing yeah. exit. That's I, I really like I really like that kind of mindset. So aside from yeah, tons of failures and rejections and interviews, uh what other challenges yung na encounter mo when you were trying to find your very first client? Um, I would say my mental health, because as I mentioned to you, I had that one, and it's really not easy if you are um also, like having this kind of mental um, situation and also you have to deal with rejections and also you're the first timer. 
I mean, you don't have any experience. Um, people would choose, I mean, those clients would choose experienced one over you. Mm-hmm. Like that's, that, that's the real thing. But I would always say that a lot of clients would choose people with good, um, with good attitude mm-hmm. and have determination. Mm-mm. As long as you make that connection yeah. uh, and the relationship with the person. Because at the end of the day, these clients are also people. And yeah. if you form or establish a good rapport or um, relationship with them, kahit sa first impression pa lang, sometimes the qualifications go out of the window. Eh? Because in reality, skills can be learned. Pwede namang itrain yan eh. We just yeah. have, you know, we just have to be given that chance, diba, to prove our our skills. But, you know, if you have bad attitude, yeah. it's something that, that they're gonna deal with for as long as they're working with you. So, um, how long? How long? Sabi mo, um, tama, March 12, tama, March yeah. 12 ko nag-enroll, then natapos mo na yung uh, modules, nag-start ka ng mag- and the applications by the end of the month. So when did you um, actually have your first client? Um, actually, hindi pa natapos yung ano, um, coaching namin ni Coach. I had the client hmm. maybe around five weeks or six weeks after enrolling. Okay. Yeah, I got the oh, client okay. already. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. kanina na share mo. Congratulations, kanina yeah. na share mo. One strategy that you use is hmm. whenever you encounter an unfamiliar question, technical question, you would write it down and yeah. mo siya pag-aaralan so that you could prepare for the next interview. Yeah. So other than that, um, what else do you think um work? Because sabi mo, minsan sa interview sa sabiin sa yo, hanap nila experience, but yung portfolio mo naman, yung profile mo naman. Yeah. Iba, pwede na nilang makita doon. So, curious lang ako, what you, ano nilagay mo sa profile mo or how did you design your profile or your resume that made them still wanna book you for an interview? Yeah. Um, the good thing about ASBA kasi is um, they taught us how to make a very appealing um, resume. And also, um, there was a topic there, how to optimize your accounts. So that's what I did. I optimized all my social medias. I actually made that little vlog about <laughs> yourself. And um, actually, uh, yeah, yun lang. Um, I, yeah, yun lang. I optimized all my social medias. Nice. And I think si Coach Lee, isa yan sa mga favorite topics niya. Yung yeah. optimize. Saka very, ano siya, advocate siya ng pag-optimize. Uh-huh. Kulitin at kukulitin ka talaga niya para mag-optimize. Yeah, giga si Coach Lee. Ikaw ba, um, Nimia, um, how did you optimize your uh, your profile, your resume? Did you also put a mini self-introduction video or may mga pakulo ka, pakulo, ibang pakulo ka ba na ginawa to attract you know, prospects. Yes. Actually, same with Jonalyn. I also did yung parang um, video introduction about yourself. Like, when the clients see it, yung thumbnail pa lang, makikita na you look presentable, professional, diba? Tapos, you tell about yourself, your experience, the trainings that you have. Girl, marami magme-message sa'yo kaagad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think so, that also worked with Jonalyn, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Saka ang maganda sa ganun kasi, pwede mo siyang i-reshoot ng i-reshoot hanggang sa maging satisfied ka sa itsura at outcome mm-hmm. ng video. Yeah. Diba? So, ang maganda din nun, it also is help establish uh, a personal touch doon sa video mo. Kasi pagdating sa interview, oy, you mentioned pala you love dogs. Misa kasi sinasabi ko yun dati, I'm a dog person, cat person, ganyan, ganyan. So, May mga client, may mga prospects na nabibring up yung ganong topic. So at least, di ba, nagkakaroon kayo ng common ground na pwede niyong yeah. i-share during the interview. So, after getting your first uh, client after six weeks, kamusta naman yung naging transition mo? Because it's the first time that you're gonna do it hands-on. And yeah. nakatulong ba talaga yung, yung modules and yung community for you to deliver the kind of uh, work expected from you? Yes. Um, 
actually um i had um okay it's ppc work so okay. during that yeah during that time uh there was li limited pa yung ppc um contents natin but the good thing is um coach leaf was a ppc i mean specialist that time mm -hmm. so si coach yung kinakulit ko like coach like whenever i have questions about ppc like coach like ano. but the good thing about right now is like they have really i mean they have a lot of contents about ppc na so mm, they updated but, that yeah, during my time is limited pa lang. So, but the good thing is I can, the good thing about the community um, itself is you can ask your post in the community about like your question and a lot of people will answer. Like a lot of people will help you like uh, deal with those problems. So that's the good thing. Yeah. Wow. So talagang si Coach Leaf, sulit na sulit talaga yung pamilya yeah. coach niya sa'yo. And alam mo maganda rin yun eh kasi Kaya ka nga nag-elite, eh, di ba? So that you'll uh -huh. have that personal touch from a mentor. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, you know, you could get um, personalized or individual mentorship that you yeah. need when you start, you know, um, applying and uh, talking to your clients. So before I ask you magic question na inaabangan ng mga, inter ng mga <laughs> audience natin, ng mga nanonood ngayon, how about you, Nina? Do you have any questions uh, for... For Jonalyn. So, Miss Jonalyn, looking back from who and where you were a year ago, what do you think changed in your life after you started working as an Amazon VA? Um, actually, a lot. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I would say it has changed me physically, as I mentioned to you. Like, I was mm -hmm. so skinny. Like, yung makakakita sa akin before, because I, I told you, I isolated myself. I did not, not want to see my friends. And there were accidentally um, things that um, I will bump them in the mall. <laughs> uh -oh. They will tell me, like, what happened to you? Like, why are you like that? Like, I'm, it's, it's really obvious that I really lose tons of weight. And mm -hmm. then... Um, Physically, I have changed mentally. Like, I became more futuristic than I had before. Like, I would say um, I had bigger picture than what I learned before. And also, um, isama na natin si financially. <laughs> uh, yes. So, um, it helped me a lot financially, actually. Mm -mm. So, speaking of financially, mm -hmm. um. If you would compare yung naging uh, rate mo, rate mo uh, as a first timer, because I, I mean, assuming you've already grown, you know, as uh, as an Amazon VA after a year of working. So if you would compare your salary as an Amazon VA for the very first time to how much you're earning right now, how would you describe it? <laughs> It's actually mind blowing. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, when... my... Blow our minds. <laughs> Blow our minds. <laughs> yeah, it's so mind blowing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when I started uh, with Amazon, it's actually kind of scary for me because my client and I had an agreement that after one month, mm -hmm. if Nico gets your uh, process, they will stop. I mean, we will cut the contract. But if I can make it, then we will continue and he will um, double or he will make it higher like that. Okay. So um, I started, um, I will actually become, a, uh, I mean, I'm actually, an, I mean, I'll just make it, um, I'll just sell it openly. So I started with um, 45,000 pesos for a starting. Wow, 45,000 starting. Yeah. yeah, it's a starting. He's actually going to teach me. Is it? Yeah. Grabe naman si Lord. Sabi mo 30k lang. Thank oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like let's connect it to like the one that I asked to God. Like um Lord, you na iyak ko. Yeah, that's it. Um, I just asked Kim, I'm crying already. Um, I just asked him 30,000 and he gave me actually this time more than twice. 
Like, yeah, um, almost three times, actually. He gave me that. I, no, not three times. Like, I just asked him 30,000, right? He gave me more than three times. It's like, Hoy, hindi para sa'yo yan. Ito para sa'yo. Like that. Um, yeah, that's why I, I just say, it's, it's really like online blowing to me. Oh my God, 30,000 yeah. times four. <laughs> Oh my God, sis. That's really mind-blowing. And congratulations. And alam mo, tama ka nga eh. Minsan, tayo yung nag-limit sa sarili natin, ng potential natin, ng income natin. But, you know, God has a better view of yeah. what's in it for us. And we just have to trust Him. Baka kaya nga niya hindi binibigay kasi hindi kasi yun talaga para sa iyo. Ito yung para yeah. sa iyo. Pero medyo pinaghirapan mo nga lang. Pero, Hello, worth it naman talaga siya. Oh my God. So, um, bukod sa naging, grabe na ako mga bukod at, bukod sa naging progress ng um, income mo, um, with it, tapos nangyari lang yan, everything in one year. Kamusta din yung naging role mo, yung naging growth din ng career mo as an Amazon PPC specialist? Yeah, actually, it uh, brought me to really huge, huge picture of PPC. Like, Um, I left doing this work. Like, uh, as I mentioned to you earlier, like, I'm account, uh, I was an accounting student and I love to deal with numbers. Like, gusto yeah. ko yung graphic, like, uh, pie charts. Like, yun kasi yung trabaho ko ngayon. Like, um, sending reports to clients. Um, By the way, I'm working in an agency. So, we have different types of clients. Um, Yeah, so, um, I am handling... Around four, five, but I used to had, I used to had more than that. Cause um we had um as an agency, hindi kasi sila forever nagsustay sa agency. But um I used to had more than that, and yeah, um we had different types of clients, and we send reports to them like about their their financial stuffs, and yeah, it's very amazing. It's just like, I really love doing this work. Yeah, now. <laughs> Di ba talaga yung nagagawa kapag nakahanap ka ng trabaho or opportunity na it gives you purpose. Di yeah. Ba? Na you're, you're excited to wake up. You're excited to actually do your job. Because, ano rin yun eh, parang kung ako nakikinig ngayon, sa sinasabi mo like, you're doing reports, doing those analytical, I don't know, numbers, data, figure. For me, that's a bit intimidating kasi hindi siya yung linya ko. You know? But yeah. you found your, di ba, your inclination with this kind of uh, opportunity. Tapos nagamit mo pa yung napag-aralan mo. Yeah. So, nakakatawa naman si. So, siguro naman na bayaran mo na yung ano, girlfriend na. <laughs> <laughs> yun nga um after that's why I was very thankful to God kasi mm-hmm. after a month lang or two months um I was able to have ROI which is like twice than the ones that I borrowed I mean like more than that yeah, yeah oh. that I borrowed from my friend wow congratulations and yun sana mapanood nila to no? yung, yeah. <laughs> yung nakachikahan mo sa gym Naging friend ko yeah. ba siya eventually? Or, I mean, nakikita ko. Actually, I have not seen her anymore. Just like, only that day. Oh. Like, I am looking for her. Like, I couldn't find her anymore. Ay, kasi, sige. I'll give you an opportunity. May message ka ba doon sa person na yun? <laughs> ano, ano, yeah. Just in case, napanood ka niya. Ano message I mo? I her name, too. Like, it's, a- it's very surreal. Um, yeah, um, I'm very, I mean, I'm very thankful for her because um, I would say he is, the instrument that God sent to me for for it's kind of like eye opener uh, opening that there is something that you will that uh you love doing like for you to have a huge opportunity to earn money uh yeah and i'm really thankful that i was able to um run her like in the gym and i was able to know her And she is very open with her job. And she even told me about um, virtual staffing, something. Like, there is a website she introduced mm-hmm. me. And it's just very generous. Thank, thank you so much. I forgot her name, but yeah, I, I actually remember her face. Tawagin na lang natin siyang Angel. Kasi parang, yeah, Angel. Ano, eh, <laughs> Angel, kung nasa ka ba? So parang, ang, parang nakatawa din yung, ano niya eh, parang yung exposure niya sa'yo after niyong makita. Hindi mo na siya nakita after doon. So baka mamaya. Angel mo talaga siya. 
na pinaano lang talaga sa'yo, pinarealize lang sa'yo talaga na may ganitong opportunity. And for my last question, uh, Jonah din, sa mga nakikinig sa'yo ngayon, um, after hearing your story and what you have to go through, you know, to get to this part of, uh, to enjoy this kind of success that you have now, um, what's your ultimate advice to uh, aspiring Amazon VA out there? Yeah. Um, actually, my advice, not just to people who wanted to enroll, but to people also who are enrolling already, because um, I get a lot of message from some communities also. Uh, one of our, I mean, those people who, are, who have enrolled. It's not just for uh, those people who wanted to enroll, but those people who have enrolled also. Like, um, just, ano ba? Um, nag enroll na kayo eh. So, what's the point of going back? Just go forward. And those people who have uh, wanted and are very hesitant to enroll, if you have the money, I would say um, the best investment that you can give to yourself is enrolling, uh, having that skills, just investing to yourself. That's the best investment you you will give to yourself. It's it's a gift na lang sa sarili mo na um, you will invest a knowledge, a skill. Kasi um, it will give you back double or more than that, the one mm-hmm. that you invest. I couldn't agree more, Jordan. Din. And di ba, sa nangyayari ngayon sa, I mean, after the pandemic, nagka-war, tapos ngayon no. merong fear ng fear ng recession for the next uh, 12 to, sabi nila, it might, well, ganun yung mga fear na na, uh, really ko ngayon, hangga, up to 36 months, so that would be three years for the recession. I mean, lahat yun out of our control eh, but the only thing that we can control is what we do with ourselves. If we want to equip ourselves with, you know, the, the skills that can help us not just survive, but thrive, you know, in a fast-changing environment and whether or not uh you join uh in the asba master class i hope you find that community that you know that inclination to something na yeah. mas dun kayo din nadala. because uh, i'm gonna be honest right now that not everyone is cut out to be an amazon ba like kanya kanyang strength din talaga siya and weaknesses but if you think you're leaning towards this uh, amazon ba masterclass then probably you have to ask yourself na hindi siya kung worth it eh. Am I going to do whatever it takes? Because it's gonna be worth it kahit ano pang kunin mong course or kahit anong i-pursue mong uh, path. It's gonna be worth it because of the wins and celebrations later on. But before you get to arrive at that point, you have to go through the challenges. So dun mo, tanongin yung sarili mo, are you willing to go through that? Are you going to do whatever it takes to overcome those so that you could enjoy mm-hmm. the next phase, the next stage, diba? after that paghihilap? So, uh, again, thank you so much, uh, Jonalyn and Ninia, yes, uh, for joining us uh, for today's interview. And for those who are watching up until this part, um, you can check the description box for the link of the ASBA Masterclass, the one that all of us, the three of us, um, yeah. Took in different years. Ako in 2018, uh, I think Ninya and Jonalyn in 2021. Right? Yeah, 2021. <laughs> 20, 2021, Odiba. So, uh, we took the same master class. But yeah, we had different journeys. We had different um, results. Mm-hmm. So, you could check the modules, the, the packages, and the mga pinagkaiba ng advance, um, elite, and the prices. They are all included in the link. And if up until now, you're still confused ano bang ginagawa ng Amazon VA, ano ba yung qualifications, uh, feel free to download the free ebook, the Amazon VA ebook, so that you can get an overview of the tasks and qualifications that we have so that you can better decide if this is something that you want to pursue or not. So, again, thank you so much for tuning up until this uh, part and we'll see you again in our next Asva success story. Bye for now, guys.
Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you appreciate these kinds of content about becoming an Amazon virtual assistant and more, then be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more updates whenever we upload new videos. Again, this is your VA expert, Nikki B. And with Amazon Nation, we open possibilities. Thank you.